Well, hello again. It's Pastor Andrew from New Hope Friends Church. Just wanted to make a quick video to update you on what's going on in the life of our church. As you know, uh, this past Sunday we canceled services because Megan and I both had a positive, uh, an exposure to someone who tested positive uh, for the coronavirus, and we were in close contact with them. Uh, not, we weren't practicing social distancing simply because they were family. And so we, uh, as a precaution, canceled this past week, and uh, we're pending our results. We went ahead and canceled uh, uh, church this Sunday and decided to go online. Uh, well, as um, we were able to yesterday go to Goshen Medical Center here in Goldsboro and be tested for the coronavirus, and they have a rapid test that we were able to get our results back right away. And praise God, we are negative for the coronavirus. Uh, this is a great, great news, and we're so grateful. We're not sure why we were feeling so bad. There could be many factors. Of course, there are other diseases, other sicknesses, other than coronavirus. So it could have just been something like that. Uh, Ezra is still running a fever, so we're going to keep him away uh, in, until he can get better. We're going to take him to his pediatrician here soon. Uh, I just want to let you know that Megan and I and all of the leadership here at New Hope we take uh, this virus very seriously, and we take uh, not only uh, the care for your soul, the care for your, uh, your well-being spiritually uh, seriously, we also take uh, your health into consideration as well. And that is why we made the decision to cancel this past week and why we are going to continue to stay online for this Sunday, August 9th. So we will be online only uh, for Sunday, August 9th. Next week, we're going to go back to in-person uh, uh, meetings. We're going to start with uh, ministry and council at 7 p.m. on Tuesday night. Uh, and then we will have prayer meeting as normal uh, in the Family Life Center at 6.30 on uh, Wednesday night. Now, we are going to continue to practice our social distancing. We're going to continue to practice uh, good practice with masks when we're around people. Uh, that way, we can try to limit the spread uh, of the virus. Uh, and, and we ask, as, as I did, uh, that if you do come in contact with someone who's uh, COVID positive or you start exhibiting symptoms, that you do please uh, stay away. Uh, we will uh, check on you. We'll, we'll follow up with you but, and try to care for you uh, very well. But just make sure that you're, you're not spreading that virus. And that's why we decided to do this. Uh, so praise God. Thank you. To every single one of you who uh, reached out to us, to who cared uh, for us, who have done things for us, brought us meals. Uh, we had some delicious meals over these past few days where we quarantined, but now we don't have to anymore, and we're so grateful to God for that. Uh, so I look forward to next week seeing all of you on Tuesday uh, for Ministry and Council uh, prayer meeting and the Family Life Center at 6.30. And tentatively, we're, we'll let you know if we're planning to uh, try to get tested again maybe next week just to make absolute certain uh, it, since we were having some of the symptoms both Megan and I feel completely normal now uh, but we were having some symptoms uh, so we may get tested again next week but uh, we we tentatively going to try to be back in the Family Life Center on the 16th August 16th uh, that Sunday hopefully uh, we can be back well, praise God that he is so good to us that he cares not only for our spiritual well-being but our our physical, our emotional, and every other part of our being. I love you all, and I'll see you soon.